So being a Miss Universe Philippines was one of the greatest things that has ever happened to me. Um, there was a lot of work that went into it and so many people that played such a huge part in my journey as a Miss Philippines. I competed in Vegas in December 2017 and training for makeup was just one of the many things that I had to prepare for. So I want to show you guys how to achieve this look which was taught to me by the one and only Jelly Eugenio. I unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do my hair. I'll save that for another video but I want to show you how I created this look so grab your brushes, grab your makeup and let's do this together. Hi guys, it's Rachel and today I am finally going to attempt my Miss Universe Glam. This is a video that a lot of you have been requesting for me to make so I'm just gonna get straight into it and give this a shot. Okay, so first things first, whenever you're doing your makeup, doesn't matter if it's for stage or just for your everyday makeup, you want to make sure you start with a really clean face. You want to moisturize, which I have already done, and you want to prime your face. My favorite um, primer is the foundation primer from Laura Mercier in Radiance, all across my face. Um, and because we have a face primer, we also have an eye primer because your eyes are the part of your face wherein you use the most product. So my favorite one to use is from MAC. It's the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I kind of just apply it very generously all around my eyelid, all the way up to my brows. Okay, so now that that is done, we're gonna go straight in to the eyes. I start with the eyes because I normally get a lot of fallout and if I mess up, then you don't need to start your whole face all over again. Jesus, what's happening to me? I'm melting. Okay, so this is also the same palette that I used for Miss Universe. It's from Tarte. Um, and the way that I was taught to do my eye makeup is to start with a light color on the inside and then you go darker as you go towards the outer part of your eye. So I like to mix classic and vintage to begin with. So now that I've done that color, I am then going to go with something a little bit darker, like the bold, which I am then going to mix with Innocent, which is a little bit orange. You guys are lucky you get to see all of the weird faces that I make when I do my makeup. So as you can see, this is still really quite light, so I went in with a little bit of Whimsy, which is much, much darker, and I'm kind of just gonna gradually get darker as I get towards the end of my eye. So now immediately my eyes have a lot more life to them. To create the illusion that your eyes kind of go like upwards and like to get that facelift effect, what you need to do is use a darker color like edgy and smoked and just do it on the outer part of your eye. Okay, so now we are going to move on to painting the face. First off, I'm going to use this, I don't know what you call it, it's like a color corrector which you put under your eyes or whatever dark patches you have on your face. This is from Crayolan, it's orange which sort of like combats the redness or like green, no not red, it combats the green under your eyes. So when you don't get enough sleep, as was the case for me at Miss Universe. You are gonna love this product. It's gonna save your life. And then I'm just gonna go straight in and do my foundation. This is from NARS. It's the Barcelona Sheer Glow. Now when you're doing your foundation, less is more. When you're doing your eyes, more is more. So I just put like a tiny bit on my damp um, beauty blender and I start from the bottom going upwards and you don't want to kind of like scrape the foundation around your face you just want to dab it in 
so it doesn't apply too thick and then you don't get those nasty streaks. When you reach the top, you kind of want to brush it into your hair because there's nothing worse. Like seeing that you missed around this area, it'll be so obvious that you're wearing a ton of makeup. We are going to move on to concealer. This is Stroke of Light from Bare Minerals and you just go in and apply it to the darker areas and the areas that you want to kind of like be more luminescent, I guess, if that's the correct term. So I do a lot extra on here because I carry it down. So it kind of is like a V. Okay, so once that's all blended in, you want to make sure that it stays where it is. Um, my favorite product ever is the Laura Mercier translucent powder and then before you put it on you want to make sure that there are no creases under your eyes because if you use the translucent powder on it it will stay and it'll be harder to get rid of so I kind of like do this weird thing with my face to make sure that I don't get any creases. Your eyes are like the main focus of your face and your eyes can speak like a million words and stories or whatever. So this is like the area that you really want to focus on. And the reason why I start with the eyes as well, I just remembered, is Jelly said if you're in a rush, your eyes take the longest. So you want to make sure that your eyes are done. Because even if your face isn't done, but you've done your eyes properly, it's a look. Um, and you can't forget the bottoms now that I have this to catch the, the fallout. I'm gonna go in with like a sort of a flat brush and just use the same colors. Um, so darker again from the outer part of the eye and then it goes lighter as you go in towards the inside of the eye. So this is probably now my least favorite part and that is the cat eye or the wing, eyeliner wing. But what you wanna do so that your eyes look fluid once you have your liquid eyeliner on top is um, you want to kind of, I don't know what you call it, but you want to put some eyeliner on your, like your up, the inside of your upper lid. Ah! Ah, weird, weird, so weird. I'm not used to this anymore. Woo! I'm gonna go in with my black liquid eyeliner. I got this in Japan. It's called Uzu. Um, it's a brand that I haven't tried before. I normally use, um, during Miss Universe, I use K palette, but I'm out of that. So I'm gonna go and try this. You know how people say that your brows are meant to be sisters and not twins? The same goes for my cat eye because I can just never do it properly. So I'm going to do a bit of this. And just like that, they are done. And then a special trick that I want to teach you was you can do kind of like a downward, downward, <laughs> like a downward flick. So it's kind of like my eyes go like this. I hope that I achieved this look. Um, so now that that's done, because I kind of went over what was already on my eyes, I just one last time want to go over it with some color. The same colors that I used earlier. I'm gonna go and use the same palette that I've used for basically this entire tutorial. Um, and I'm gonna use the darker, um, the darker shade up here. Um, but I'm only going, if you'll notice, from the middle of my eye towards the inner part of my eye, again to like make my eyes look bigger. And then on the bottom, I'm going to take a small brush and I'm gonna go in with the same sparkly shade and I'm gonna go all the way under my eyes. You're gonna start to feel a little bit of the glitter sticking to your eye, but to all my pageant sisters out there, you know the saying, te iskanda. So as you can see, that really brightens and opens up the eye. But as you get on the inner corner of your eye, you wanna go in with glam and do just kind of like the tip of your eye. Usually I have my Stila, I don't know the name of it, I'm gonna put the name right here. Um, and that's what I would put on top of my lids as well. But because I'm in Camsor and I don't have access to all of my makeup, um, that's why I've made do with this ethereal glitter color. And then, I'm going to use Glam again and just kind of go over 
this area to brighten it up. And of course, the look will not be complete without some good brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. What I'm using here is the Sunny's Life Brow. And you don't wanna fill in the entire brow because you're not trying to achieve like that stamp look. You wanna draw it on as if they were actual hairs. And now another one of my ultimate favorite products is the Real Lasting Eyebrow. Um, it's a liquid brow liner. I think that's the right name for um, your brows. <laughs> you just kind of wanna like do one swipe on the bottom just to define them a little more. And then you wanna draw upwards in like the direction that your hair grows in. So now that I'm pretty much done and still pretty sweaty, I'm going to just brush off all of the translucent powder. As you can see, I used a lot of eyeshadow after I put it on, but it caught all of it and so now it looks really nice and clean. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. Um, but I'm only gonna use this on the parts that I highlighted earlier. And then, another one of my products that I can super live by. It still actually has the Philippines sticker on the case. Um, and it's almost gone. They're actually in little pieces. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you. But I love this product and as soon as this lockdown is over, I will definitely be going to get more. So all of the areas that I didn't highlight, I'm just going to pat the foundation down with this to hold it all in. Make sure it lasts for the entire evening or day. And then it is contour time. So the product that I used on the night of, the, of Miss Universe in Vegas was this one by NARS. It is the Laguna, it just says Laguna. It's a bronzer, it's amazing. Um, it's almost all gone. But my favorite, favorite bronzer in the world, which I use also as contour, is from Charlotte Tilbury. So a trick that you can do is you can kind of follow a number three on your face. So you wanna go like along your cheekbone and then you wanna do under your jawline to really accentuate it. But you don't wanna go all the way. You wanna stop kind of like in the middle of your eye. And then this is where the number three comes in. So you just wanna make sure you fill in those parts one last time. I actually almost forgot because this is not something that I've ever done since Miss Universe. Um, but you also want to make sure that you contour along your nose. So the trick to that is you kind of follow your brows and go along like the bridge area. I just do it really, really lightly. This is only something that I do when I am on stage. I'm not even sure if this will really have too much effect. Then you want to do the bottom and then you kind of do like a cross here, if I remember correctly. So that's us done with our bronzer contour. And now we move on to another one of my favorite products, which is the Tarte Blush. This color is exposed. The way you want to apply this is you have to smile and you find the apples of your cheeks. Oh, I have a little visitor here. Um, and then you wanna apply a, a lot, just dab it, and then you smile, find the apples of your cheeks, and then follow along where you contoured. And then, hold on, I can't speak and smile. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then you wanna kind of just graze across your nose for that really beautiful sun-kissed summer look. It's a little bit light for me, so I'm gonna go in with um, my blush from BLK. Um, so you just lightly wanna dab it on, like so. And then highlighter. This is what I used for Miss Universe. It still also has my Philippines sticker on it. So like a little bit of a story. 
Um, when you are competing in Miss Universe, you have to prepare like a small little makeup kit that you can quickly grab. You're only really allowed to have like five or six products with you. Um, and all of the products that I have here that have the Philippines sticker on it, these are like my staples and the ones that I use to touch up really quickly in between um, long gown and bikini segments. So I will probably never ever throw these products away just because it says Philippines on it. Basically, you want to put the highlight on the areas where, as if you were standing under the sun, you want to highlight the areas that would be hit first by the sun. Now I'm going to go in and do my lips. I think this was also the same shade that I used at Miss Universe. It's from MAC and it is, the shade is, I have no idea what the shade is, you can't see it anymore, but I love it. Now, for my lipstick, this is L'Oreal Spring Rosette, which I did use for Miss Universe. Whoa, I'm not used to wearing so much color. My lips look huge! I'm so not used to this at all. It's like a bit pink for me at the moment, so I'm gonna add a little bit of BLK just to kind of darken it up. And then, of course, we wanna finish with lip gloss. It is Booksome. Um, in Sophia. Be very generous, but also be very careful that the lipstick and the gloss don't stick to your teeth. This is pretty much me done. I want to add a little bit more highlight and actually I'm not done at all. I still have to do my boy brow, which is basically mascara for your brows. It's amazing from Glossier. If you don't have this in your makeup kit, this needs, you need this and it needs to be like an everyday staple for every girl. Whether you are going on stage or whether you're using it for every day, I love this product. And last but not least is mascara. Um, this is the BLK Cosmetics Mega Lift Mini Mascara, which I bring with me everywhere. It's perfect when you travel. And as I go along, I keep thinking I'm almost done, but then I look in the mirror and I realize I haven't done certain things. And one of those things is I forgot to put eyeliner under my eyes. I'm so sorry. This is probably like the most gullo makeup tutorial you guys have ever watched, but I'm out of practice and I'm doing my best. Okay, and then another thing was when I competed at Miss Universe, I did not have um, eyelash extensions on. And so the process of doing that was you would have had to put your lashes on once you did your eyeliner. And then you kind of follow the way that you drew the eyeliner on and then you do another layer of liquid eyeliner on top of it to kind of camouflage it in. But because I just got this full set of lashes from New Lounge, I waited three months to get them. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt to put falsies on top of them because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go and get another set or a retouch done. So I'm kind of just gonna have to go with what I have. I, I am contemplating putting mascara on, but I don't know if that's such a great idea. So we're just kind of gonna have to use our imagination. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. This is pretty much as close as I could get to my Miss Universe glam when I was in Las Vegas representing the Philippines in 2017. I am missing a few products, but I mean, this is pretty much it, sans the lashes. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you maybe picked up a few tips and tricks along the way. Um, I really enjoyed making this video and I would love to know what other sorts of videos you would like to see me do. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Okay guys, I told you I was out of practice because I forgot my final step, which is the MAC Mineralized Charged Water Skin Hydrating Mist. Mist. That was a bit of a mouthful, um, but this product is amazing. I never went on stage without it. So every time you do a top up or whenever you first finish, 
you want to just kind of spray this all over to hold all of the work that you did in place and then we're really done by the way guys don't forget to like and subscribe